Hello everyone, um, it's Super Bowl Sunday and we're not hosting a party or going anywhere, we're just staying home and what's better for Super Bowl Sunday than some nice homemade spaghetti and meatballs. So, um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! <laughs> yeah, so uh, we thought we'd do a video on uh, spaghetti and meatballs. We've been wanting to do it for a while. It is my number one favorite meal of all time. Um, in fact, if I was on death row and they asked for my last meal, it would be spaghetti meatballs and a side with sausage and pepper sandwich. Uh-huh. Mm. These are things he actually talks about, y'all. I do. And then for dessert, Ben and Jerry's uh, chocolate ice cream with the chocolate fudge brownies. Oh, boy. I'd eat so much, I'd be begging them to take me to <laughs> get it over with. Kill me. <laughs> and let me go over the ingredients real quick. Okay. First step, of course, is um, one of your favorite spaghettis. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have uh, three cans of crushed tomatoes. Sometimes I like mixing the different cans so you get a, a different flavor blend. We're going to use uh, fresh basil, carrot, celery. Um, I use one small onion, but since I'm making the meatballs, I had a large onion. I cut it in half. Four cloves of garlic. See these nice little ingredient holders uh, Crystal got for me? Oh, yeah. Yes, she's a very good wife. <laughs> I get excited at little things like that. <laughs> okay, so you have the uh, onion, um, salt and pepper, and sugar. And you see the uh, ratio from sugar to salt. It's mm. a lot higher on the, the sugar. Yeah. And a little oregano. Now, I usually put Moscato wine in, in the sauce. And um, this one is um, like a quicker sauce that we're going to make. And I usually put the wine in it, but... Uh, some viewers had asked um, what we could use instead of wine. I guess, you know, for personal reasons, sometimes people don't want to use alcoholic beverages. And so what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to do it without that. And I'm going to put a little white grape juice. I'm in. excited because I'm going to drink that after you're done with it. Uh, I know. That's what I got the <laughs> I love white you. grape juice. Okay, that's the sauce. And then the meatballs, um, it's a three meat mix. When I did the lasagna, I had the three meats, and now I want to show you how you could get the ground beef, pork, and veal oh, all in one. all in one. Okay. Yep. So you get that. And sometimes they call it the meatloaf mix. Oh, mm -hmm. and they do right there, meatloaf mix. Uh-huh. Um, two eggs, salt, pepper, uh, one small onion or half a large, fresh Italian parsley, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, milk, and a little bit of ketchup. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I want to mention about the cheese, I have the um, pre-packaged stuff, and that's what I use inside the, the meatballs. But the last step when I serve the dish, I'm going to have the fresh grated uh, Parmigiano cheese. Okay. Uh, and that's really good. I don't want to like put this cheese, because this is expensive cheese, right in the meatball. I like having this right on at the end, and we're going to grate it fresh. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first step, we're going to preset the oven will preheat it to 375 and then we'll start the meatballs. Okay, get a big bowl and put the, uh, the meat right in here. I usually leave something in the center. That's where I'm going to add a lot of the ingredients. Here you dice up the onion. Take some fresh parsley. I'm gonna chop this up. I'm gonna take um, two eggs, and again, I normally don't crack them right in the bowl, just in case we have, um, you know, any shells. We don't want to leave shells in the uh, in the meat. We're gonna put one cup of the Parmesan cheese. I have the half cup. Uh, measurement or spoon because uh, the one cup won't fit in there. So we'll just do two of these. Now the breadcrumbs. And I pour it right over because if a little spills, no big deal. Better to spill in there than on the counter, you know? Mm-hmm. Salt and pepper. One cup of milk. Two tablespoons. Okay, now the fun part, the mixing. <laughs> Make sure your hands are good and clean for this step. Ok, 
and that for the meatballs when I make them um, I've fried them before and I've baked them before so you could do either way on it um, at this time I'm going to do the uh, the baking in the oven it's kind of easier that that way and I have the non-stick bake pan but even though it's non-stick I still put a little pan on the pan this way it doesn't stick when we're baking it and the size of the meatballs it's really you know up to you what you're comfortable with um, I kind of like them about that size mm -hmm. when I make the Sunday sauce I make them even bigger yeah you make them really big they're like almost uh, what not a base a bigger than a baseball but smaller than a softball exactly <laughs> it's like a meal in itself yeah the one pound of meat makes quite a bit of uh, meatballs uh, usually enough for four um, but I'm still making that so this way, you know, Crystal and I have leftovers. Yeah, and lunches. For yeah. the, the week. Well, I just love that. You go in there and grab a Tupperware for lunch and just put it in the microwave and there mm -hmm. you go. It's good stuff. Yeah. You know, that the oven's preset for 375. Let's put them in. Okay. You're going to follow me? I'm going to follow you. Look Max you. is... You're I'm, talented. <laughs> I am. I went over Max. I was just going to put them in there for about a half hour. But the beauty is while they're cooking for a half hour, that's when we're going to start the sauce. So it's important to do the meatballs first. We're going to cut up the garlic and onion first because we're going to cook this first. And then we're going to cut up the celery and carrots. Okay. This uh, is for the sauce? This is for the sauce. So I'm going to cut them up in the food processor. And since I have it out, instead of cutting these, I'll uh, do that in there too. Mm -hmm. Just save some time. So you cut the piece of garlic and just... Put it in there and we'll put all four in there. Okay, put the four pieces of garlic in first and we're gonna do this first because I want these finer. See how much time that saves? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of time. So. Yeah. And one thing I forgot in the ingredients, the olive oil. Oh uh, yes. Then Crystal says we never use. Yeah, we never <laughs> use this stuff. Um, that big thing will last, what, <laughs> two years? <laughs> in our house, what, maybe three days? Yeah, three days. <laughs> that in and we're going to put the onion and garlic first and if you don't have a food processor just you know uh, cut it up the garlic you mince and the uh, onion you dice now we're going to do the carrots and celery we're not going to put them in the pot but I want to get them cut up to put in after to uh, start the sauce. Okay, and the last step, we're just going to chop up the basil. I like leaving it kind of big. Mm -hmm. And take the stems out. You don't have to get them all out, but most of them, the big ones. Put this here, I love the smell of fresh Oh, basil. wow, you sure can smell that. Okay, I put the onions and garlic in the olive oil over medium-high heat. We're gonna fry these first. Very important, you don't want to um, burn the garlic in this step. Um, that's one of the um, biggest mistakes you can make in, make in uh, making this, is burning the garlic. That's never a good thing because it just stays in, you know, the sauce, that flavor is just so hard to overcome. And we're going to cook that for like uh, three to five minutes. Okay, now we're going to add our uh, celery and carrots. Moscato wine or the white grape juice. And now we're going to add our tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I turn it down on low because this is boiling real high. And when I pour this in, it's going to start bubbling uh, quite a bit. So actually, let me leave that off. makes quite a bit of sauce. I'm going to put in most of the uh, basil. I'm going to leave some for the end. 
a little bit of oregano. Salt and pepper. And lastly, the sugar. Mix it up. And now we want to get it up to um, a simmer. So there's just very little bubbles coming through. And once it gets to that point, the meatballs will be uh, ready to uh, be put in. Okay, the meatballs have been in for about 15 minutes. I'm going to take them out and I'm going to turn them. You see how easy they turn when you put them on the non-stick and you have the um, non-stick spray? Mm-hmm. Wow, that was easy. Right off. Yeah. A lot of times when I use the disposable one and if I don't spray it, it always sticks to the, the bottom. Mm. Put them back in for the final 15. Take the meatballs out. I got the uh, slotted spoon. And we just gently take these out and put them in the sauce. And I see the sauce. Can you look in there? See how it's boiling just a bit? A mm -hmm. little simmer. That's really what you want to try and achieve with this. I'll put the meatballs in there nice and gently. See how many meatballs just one pound of meat made? Mm hmm. That's a lot of meatballs. Quite a bit. Okay, just put them all in here now. Just very gently stir it. And uh, this is all you're going to do for the next hour. I would say about every 15 minutes, come in and uh, just gently stir this. Okay, it's about 45 minutes in, and you see how it's bubbling. I'm going to stir it for about, I think, the fourth time. And you see when I stir how all the meatballs move? Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle, because you want to be very gentle with the meatballs. You don't want to break them up. No. No, that's not good. Then you'll have meat sauce. Yeah. It's about 10 minutes ago, I put the um, a pot of boiling water on, well, water, turned it on and it boiled, and I put um, the salt in. Mm -hmm. So by the time the spaghetti cooks, the sauce will be done. So I'll take the pan of spaghetti. Now, when I was a little boy, I used to watch my mom do this. She would always break the spaghetti in half. Mm -hmm. but Mine too. Really? Mm -hmm. But I kind of like it whole. I like the, you know, the long strands of spaghetti. So I put it in the whole thing. I think she just didn't want me slurping. Because <laughs> I was <laughs> like that. I don't think she wanted that. Now that the spaghetti strain, we'll put it in the bowl. And um, I've seen different methods for this before. Uh, some people take the uh, tomato sauce over there and they put a couple ladles in here and mix it up. What I like to do is just put the olive oil in. And I do this for a couple of reasons, because when you put it on the plate and then you put the sauce on it, there's a nice contrast because the uh, spaghetti is, um, you know, still its original color mm -hmm. and the sauce is on top. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, we're not going to eat all of this, and when we have leftovers, if I want to use the spaghetti for something else, like a Chinese dish, it doesn't have the tomato sauce on top of it, so I, I like doing this instead. Just the uh, olive oil right on top, you mix it up. Now let's bring it over and plate it. We'll do your plate first, how's that? Mm-hmm. How hungry are you? <laughs> Think that's good. Think so? Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? What? I just put a little more. <laughs> you need just a little more. The Super Bowl just started, so we have to hurry up. Mm-hmm. How many meatballs? One, one. or two? Really? Just one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we take our fresh Parmigiano. I'm going to grate that right on top. This is like the best part of it. I love this. Mm-hmm. You almost can't see the meatball, though, princess. Mm-hmm. Now we have our spaghetti and meatballs. 